What is going on guys and welcome back to Pokemon Omega Ruby. So last time we left off with uh, Lee talking to Norman, our dad. And we helped Wally catch a Ralph, so we didn't really help him, but we were kind of just standing there. You get you get the gist. But basically, now we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I never really got a chance to kind of look around Petalburg. Or, uh, Petalburg? Yeah, this is Petalburg. Um, this was actually the pond that I was talking about last episode that I was like in the old games looking at my reflection. And I was like, wow, these graphics are amazing. Look at how times have changed. It's pretty crazy, pretty crazy. You know what? Let's go ahead... Let's put Pinhead in front. Pinhead Larry needs to get a get a little bit of a little bit of experience. Although Pinhead Larry is a female, she shall still be Larry. All right. I actually haven't even been in a Poke Center yet. This is actually this is a pretty nice establishment you got going on here, Nurse Joy. I like it. I like the new renovations. You know, simple but pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So sweet little Poke Center. Okay. Let's get the hell out of there. So our Pokemon are all nice and healed up. We are now going to. You know, I haven't really. I went in that house. I haven't really gone and kind of explored it here. I hope probably isn't anything useful in these places, but it still doesn't hurt to go check it out. I battled Nomer once, but he was way too strong. Woo! <laughs> I got the feeling he lives for Pokemon. Our, our city's new gym leader is a man called Norman. I heard his... Yeah, he's my dad. God. Who doesn't know that? I'm like famous already. I believe over this way, this is Wally's house, right? Yeah, yeah this is Wally's house right here. He lives conveniently right next to the gym. That's that's cool. What's going on, Wally's dad? Ah, you're Hayden, aren't you? Thank you for helping out, for helping our Wally out back there. That boy has been sickly since the time he he was born. I'm afraid that's why we decided to send him to stay with his brother's family in Vernon Turf Town for a while. The air is far cleaner there than it is around these parts. Oh, you're looking for Wally? I'm sorry, young man, but he's already left. I wonder where he is right at this moment. He's probably playing with his new routes. Wally was so happy when he told us that he caught a Pokemon. It's been ages since I've seen him smile like that. Can I go upstairs to this Wally's room up here? Hey, nice room, Wally. These people don't even care that I'm like... <laughs> I'm like going in their son's room. Just intruding. Fuck it. Alright, let's get out of this place. I'm guessing the next order of business is to head on left. And we're going to go towards the, uh... The Petalburg Woods. So we're on Route 104 now. That's cool. What's going on over here? If you're going to throw a Pokeball, weaken the wild Pokemon first. It'll be easier to catch if it's been poisoned. Burn, load to sleep. Okay, yeah, I know. Oh, there's a another one of these little these little things right here. I'm gonna sneak up on it. I'm gonna sneak up on it. See what happens. I did it right that time, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Just for shits and giggles, and it is a Tailo. Oh shit. That's pretty awesome. Oh shit, Pinhead, you're not gonna really enjoy. You're not gonna really enjoy this. My team actually, my whole team actually doesn't really enjoy flying types. That's kind of Something I gotta work on there. <laughs> I have a grass and then a bug type. But uh, let's go head over this way. Oh shit, there's Wingles. Can I sneak up on these? Can I sneak up on these Wingles? Oh damn it, you assholes. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Oh no, I'm not a trainer. But it's true that trainers locking eyes is basically an invitation to battle. If you don't want to battle with people, try to stay out of their line of sight. Alright, thanks ladies. This dude's, this dude's running around in circles over here. I bet he's gonna say something about his footprints in the sand. I totally remember this kid. Totally remember that. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. Told ya. Fucking called it, youngster. So this guy right here, youngster Billy, he's got a C dot. Oh, that is absolutely perfect because I'm leading off with my Sir's Gits, who actually only knows um, Fell Stinger, which is kind of unfortunate, but I'm guessing we'll probably le learn something pretty soon here. Let me go ahead and give this guy a Fell Stinger, see what happens. Oh shit, the C dot's gonna start to bide. Oh shit. That is not cool. Because C dots are actually really dangerous when they start biting. For some reason, bite just always early game just fucks people up. It's ridiculous. Still storing his energy. Is it after the third turn that he? Oh, almost killed it. All right, is he gonna release? His, is he gonna release his shit right now? He better not. Oh, oh god, oh god. Yep, Pinhead cannot take that. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck, Pinhead. What the hell is your deal, bro? Couldn't have just killed that seed out with two fell stingers, could you? Now we gotta bring in freaking Trico. Come in, give this guy a pound, and of course Surskit is not gonna get any experience. Like I had hoped, but at least Little Root over here's got a nice nice little level 10. That is respectable. Next is a tail low. Oh god, I'm just outmatched as fuck out here. Just gonna go ahead and pound this thing. Hopefully its pecs don't do too much to me. Oh god, don't peck me. Okay, alright. It's all good. We can handle it. It's only level 6. So luckily, my level 10 ass Trico is pretty solid. I really want my C my, my damn Surskid to gain some levels. 
It was unfortunate. I was hoping that seat out was about to get destroyed, but whatever. Pound is gonna kill that thing. Taylo is dead. All right. Youngster Billy was defeated. Wow. I got sand in my runners. They're all gritty. Yeah, you shouldn't be running in the sand then, huh, bro? You ever think about that one? So, unfortunately, Sir Skid is hella dead, so we might as well run back to the Poké Center since it's, it's pretty close at the moment, so. Back to Petalburg. My stupid Sir Skid could not take one damn bide. Except, honestly, bide is just a, it's just a powerhouse of a move. Ain't even no fun. Beep, don't beep. Give him a nice heal. Thank you for waiting. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Get the hell out of this place. When do I get the EXP share? I need I need to start sharing some experience around here. My Surskit is not gonna be able to, you know, hold its own. Maybe I should just do the old the old switch method. Let's go back onto the beach. I like the beach side. This is chill. What's going on, fisherman? Ah, the sea. I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Yes, me too. The guy doesn't even freaking battle me. Mr. Briney lives in that little cottage there beside the sea. He was once an amazing sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. I want to. I want to sneak up on this. Oh shit! This is <laughs> this is like not one you can. Damn it! I want that. I want that. Ho 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 ho! My pretty Pico is as full of energy as usual. That's cool. This dude's just obsessed with his Trico and it's or his Pico. It's not even. It's not even running around the table anymore. Come on, that was classic. <laughs> so we'll continue this way. My Pokemon is staggeringly tired. I should have bought a potion. Will you give him one of your potions? Oh shit, just dropped my phone. Screw it. Alright, will you give him one of my potions? Sure, I'll, I'll, do, I'll be a good guy. Thank you. Handed the boy a potion. Do I get anything for this? Do, do I... Thank you so much. Thanks to you, my Pokemon made it complete. Oh, for what the fuck? He didn't even give me anything. That's no fair. And holy hell, I just scared that thing away. Let's see what wild Pokemon we can find in here. Maybe battle something, get a little experience, see what's, see what's happening. Oh, it's a Wingle. I actually... I'm gonna switch into Trico. I don't know if this thing has any flying moves, honestly. I don't think it does. Level 3 Wingle. I do not think that this guy would have a flying move. Okay, he's just gonna growl me. Well, shit. Now my pounds ain't gonna do a damn thing, but I'm level 10 now. I'm just gonna absorb you as. You water flying fuck. Alright. A nice clean 2 hit KO. Alright, so it looks like all he has is water guns. That's cool. You know, maybe a maybe a Wingle wouldn't be too bad of an investment at this moment for my team, but this wasn't the one I want. You know, I'm gonna kill that one. I do have to get something to kind of help out with my flying weakness at the moment, but Pinhead got a little experience. All right, Pinhead, that's what I'm talking about. So we'll head up this way. There's some more berries. Oh goody! I love me some berries. Just steal some orange berries real quick. The guy who planted these berries is like, hey, you fuck, these are my berries. But I give zero shits, so I'm gonna take them all. We got some patch of berries too, alright. Sweet. What's going on here? I kept encountering the same kind of Pokemon, and the decks now got better, and now I can find a rare Pokemon easily. Really? I've never even really. Okay, so the decks now, this is the decks now. I actually haven't even really used it yet. What the hell is it? They're still. Okay, this is. That's kind of weird. Play online with others? Alright, the bottom screen is kind of interesting. I don't know. See what's going on. What's up, buddy? You want to battle me? Oh, sure. I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. <laughs> okay. What does that mean? Because you have a lot of money, you're able to battle me. Okay. Sounds good, bro. So you got yourself a Zigzagoon. You should have bought yourself a better Pokemon. That's what I'm thinking. Shit. I'm going to send out my little spider guy and only go. For, I can only go for the Felsinger. And this thing is level 8. Holy shit. Too much, Zigzagoon. Oh, my God. If this thing attacks me, I'm gonna, like, die. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a fell stinger, do absolutely nothing, and then switch into my badass Trico, who's pretty much the star of the show at this moment. I, I just really want my Surskit to evolve. This thing, I feel like no one else is gonna be using a Surskit in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but I am. Because I don't even give a shit. This thing's just gonna growl at me. It's going for the tail whips, and the growls, and just all the stat moves, are you? Yeah, this, this level 8 thing is difficult to battle. Holy shit. Could probably use a bit of training. I have to go for the special attacks because my attack is awful. A couple more absorbs in this city should do the trick. Screw you, Zigzagoon. This thing doesn't even attack. It just likes to just tail whip and growl. Oh my god. Why? Why? What is what is the logic behind this guy's battle style? Like if you were to just 
Oh shit, that is the logic. He has money because he can... <laughs> because he has money, he has full restores. Of course, this guy just used a full restore on a level 8 Zigzagoon. I'm just gonna keep on absorbing. Keep on absorbing. And he's just gonna keep on growling. See, this guy doesn't understand the logic behind Pokemon battles. You're usually supposed to, you're supposed to try to like lower the other Pokemon's HP. Does this guy, okay, there you go, he got a tackle finally. And that actually didn't do shit. Alright, perfect. Now I'm gonna absorb and I'm gonna get my health back. Hopefully this kills it. Yeah, alright, Zigzagoon. Finally, had enough of your shit. Mad Zigzagoon is dead as hell. Got a whole bunch of experience. Oh, level 11. That is what I'm talking about. Pithead got 96 and grew to level 6. Hell yeah. And we learned a quick attack. That's what I'm talking about. Rich boy Winston, why couldn't I win? Because you're not rich enough. <laughs> Alright, so, you know, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put my bottom screen back to this little map thingy. Alright. Let's run around in this grass real quick. Let's battle something and see what we can find. Need a little bit of experience before I head into this forest. Oh, and it's another Winkle. Alright, Pinhead. You actually can't really, you can't really do shit to a level 5 Winkle. I'm gonna have to switch back into Trico. I'm, so, I'm sorry, this is gonna be necessary. I need to get Sirs get to the point where it can actually battle. So I gotta do this switching out shit. Is this guy's gonna growl at me? It did not sound like a growl. It sounded more like a, more like a screech, you know? This Wingle's gotta get his shit together. Level 5 Wingle's gonna take a nice absorb, and that actually, okay, that's not gonna do too much to you. Oh, and now you're gonna supersonic me. Oh god, there are ducks on my head. There are ducks. Get them out of here. Alright, don't hurt yourself, Trico. Don't hurt yourself, you fuck. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Perfect, perfect. I'm gonna go for the growl again. As long as I just don't hurt myself here, this should be a victory. Snapped out of confusion. That's what I like to see, Trico. That's what I fucking like to see. And the Wingle is dead. So, very nice. Got a little experience. Never hurts. Alright. Oh, what is that thing? What? What? Like, what is the logic behind the, like tails that they put on here. I, I don't... <laughs> Damn it. I'm still terrible at that. I, I don't like I don't like that. That's awful. Alright. Welcome to the Pelberg Woods. Pretty interesting place. If you're looking to catch some bugs, this is the place for you. What's going on, bug catcher? I catch a whole bunch of bug Pokemon. Go, go, go. Alright, let's see what this guy's bugs got. This is when you really wish you chose Torchic in the beginning, but you know what? Screw it. It's gonna have to go for a whole bunch of pounds and stuff. You know, I honestly think Pinhead could take this Wurmple. You can totally take this Wurmple, Pinhead. You got this shit. Quick attack that bitch. Bam! Ah, uh, look at that damage! And his tackle does just about the same amount to me. Fell Stinger, let's see how much this does. When you kill a Pokemon with Fell Stinger, I can't actually remember what is the. What even does Fell Stinger do? I, I, I mean, God damn it! I should know this. I was just using a Beedrill with it. What, what the hell? Let me take a look at this real quick. Let's go ahead and check moves. Fell Stinger. When the user knocks out a target, attacks rises sharply. Oh shit! That is awesome. That is awesome. This guy has three Pokemon. So you know what? I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna kill this thing with Fell Stinger. So I'm gonna get a, an attack raise, and then Surskit will actually be pretty useful. As this Wormhole is gonna tackle me again, bring me down to half. Oh no! One more fell stinger. Should do the trick. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, damn it. Come on. Surskit. Who are you? What are you thinking? Alright, one more. That should do the trick. Luckily, he doesn't use a potion because he ain't rich. And that thing is dead. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Attack raise. Pinhead is scary as fuck right now. Next is a Wurmple. We're going to go ahead and stay in. Alright, this Wormpool might be... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and just... Should I potion now? Now I'm gonna potion that next. It shouldn't be able to kill me with one attack at this HP. Quick attack. Look at that damage! Critical hit. Okay, that, that, make, that makes sense. Now he's gonna string shot. You asshole. Speed harshly fell. Now I'm a fell stinger. Oh shit, he's just gonna string shot again. That's perfect because the fell stinger is gonna kill it. And then I'm gonna actually get another attack raise. This is actually, this is awesome. This Sir Skid is fucking sweet. Hell yeah, killed the Wurmpool. I'm gonna actually grow a level too. So I get my attack raise. I'm at plus four right now. Grow to level seven. Sir Skid is just putting in work right now. Putting in work. Next is another Wurmpool. 
So I shall, so I shall stay. What if this quick attack kills it in one hit? What if? Here we go, Sir Skit. Okay, de definitely negative on the on the one hit kill thing. But it only knocks me down to four HP, and now I can go ahead and quick attack Uno Moss time, and that is a dead Wurmple, and look at my Sir Skit. Just doing it. That's what I'm talking about. I got the best bug in the forest right now. I have all these Pokemon, but I couldn't win. You don't even have that many Pokemon, bro. There's only three. And they're all awful. Just awful. Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna use a nice little potion on my boy Pinhead. You earned it, Pinhead Larry. You earned it. Alright. Continuing on, there's an item right here. We'll go ahead and grab that. It's a paralyzed heal. Very nice. Very nice. That shall be, that shall be useful. Run into a wild Pokemon. See what we got going around in here. Oh, Wurmple. What's going on, Wurmple? Pinhead, do I want you to try to kill this thing? I, I, th I think I do. I think it's worth it. I need you to learn a move that's actually useful. I mean, at least my at least my quick attacks are doing a decent amount of damage to these wild level 4 things, but... <laughs> as long as they just keep string shotting me and not hurting me, that's completely fine. This is like free experience that Sir's Kit definitely needs. And why did that not do too much, Damn it! Come on. Come on now. Here we go, Pinhead. Get a critical hit right here. You got it. Yo, damn it. Lives with like one HP. But luckily he's just gonna string shot. Screw you, Wurmple. You know, I honestly, when I started playing, when I, before I started playing this game, I kind of considered catching a Wurmple and trying to get a Dust Ox. But you know what? I don't even need no bug. Pinhead's all I need. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Oh, shit. There's a, okay, it's all the way over there. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we shall continue this way, where we got some more trainers, so, you know, sometimes there are things on the ground, even if you can't see them, that's why I always check where I'm walking. Yeah, sometimes if you just click A in random spots, you, like, come across an item, and I bet you there's one here. Where the hell is it? There it is, found a potion right there. Hell yeah. Usually when there's, like, a random spot in the grass, you can kind of tell that there's gonna be, there's gonna be something, and why can't, I can't go up here? I don't know. Oh, I can go down here, what the hell is this? It's like a... Oh, what the fuck? What is this? You're no better than a thief if you try to steal someone else's Pokemon. Of course, you, of course you only gotta catch wild Pokemon. God. Found a Pokeball right here. Okay, so I know where I am. I'm just like on the other side of this ledge. Sweet. So, we hop back down. And then I'm guessing we do have to go up to, uh... We have to go to the left and then up to get around this place. Did they change Petalburg? I think they did change this forest. I don't know. I can't remember. Alright, so we got another trainer over here. Oh, no, it's not a trainer. It's this, this guy. Well, oh, not a one to be found. What's going on? Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. No, I have not. And oh, shit, we're about to see Team Magma for the first time, guys. Oh, shit. What's going on, Team Magma, dude? I was going to ambush you, but he had to dwindle in the Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. He's like, nah, I'm getting out of here. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You gotta help me, please. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess. I have, like, very low-level Pokemon, but I'll battle this guy. Screw it. So we're gonna battle our first Magma Grunt. And holy shit, epic intro. That is awesome. He only has one Pokemon. It's a Poochiena. Bam, 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 bam. Let's see how Pinhead's gonna do against this thing. Level 9 Poochiena. Wow. That is, uh, that is impressive. That is impressive. I'm gonna go ahead and attack it once with Pinhead. Just get it, get one quick attack, see how much it's gonna do, see how much it's gonna hit me with. Hopefully it just, okay, okay, solid, solid quick attack. It's gonna sand attack me. The fuck, did that Poochiana just spit sand out of its mouth? Holy hell. That's ridiculous, what the fuck? Another quick attack doing some solid damage with a critical hit. Now he's gonna howl and raise his attack. Oh god. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> this is getting scary. This thing's gonna be able to fuck me up. Oh god, whatever he does here, he's gonna sand attack again. Perfect. As long as I just don't miss my quick attacks, that is completely fine. Quick attack that bitch. Wait, Poochiana doesn't get dark type, does it? I don't, I don't think so. Oh my god, my accuracy is just awful right now. We'll try to fell stinger this thing. Oh damn it, I missed it, and now he's gonna howl again. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get that fell stinger off, Pinhead. Fuck! And he avoided it. Now he's gonna tackle me, and that is gonna kill me. Nope, it didn't kill me. Oh my god. 
Felstinger? Oh my goodness. Sand attack got the best of Pinhead there. Yep. Sand attack done fucked me up there. That is a bummer. I'll just send out a little root then. Little root can do the job. Get a nice little absorb going on here. And that is gonna kill the Poochiana. I really wish Sirska got that experience. I was kind of just hoping for like a well shit. That's that's just awful. At least Team Magma Grunt is defeated. So that's that's solid news there. Girl, you've got some nerve meddling with Team Magma. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm not a Pokemon. Yeah, you can't just battle twice, bro. What are you thinking? So I helped out this uh, this Devon researcher guy. That was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you this as my thanks. Obtained an EXP share. Hell yeah, we got the EXP share. That is what I'm talking about. I've actually heard that the EXP share makes this game incredibly easy, so I don't know if I'm going to leave it on for the whole time, but at least for now. Oh, and he even healed my Pokemon too. What a good guy. Didn't that Team Magma Thug say they're after something in Rustboro too? Uh oh, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. Wow, there is, there is, we've already got a nice little plot developing, there is shit going down in Rustboro, it is getting crazy. It is getting crazy, what's up little guy? Yo there, your Pokemon doing okay? If your Pokemon are weak and you want to avoid battles, you should stay out of tall grass. Alright, thanks for the perfect advice. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you get to be instant, instantly popular. Really? It doesn't seem like in the Pokemon world, if you have like bugs, you'd be cool, but I don't know. This guy's got himself a Nincada nonetheless, that's pretty interesting. Haven't seen one of them yet. All right, Pinhead. Let's see what we can do to this guy. You know what? I'm just gonna, I, yeah, I'm just gonna not fuck around. I'm gonna switch into Little Root from the start, <laughs> and I'm gonna have Little Root take care of this thing because ain't nobody got time for Sir Skit to be fucking dicking around. Little Root gets shit done. Okay, that scratch actually did a decent amount, but it was a crit, so that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pound this thing. Take that. Ouch. Yeah. Probably didn't like that, did you? Oh fuck! You just used was that hardened? I actually didn't read it, but holy hell, that's annoying because now my pounds are gonna do like absolutely nothing. Just keep on hardening. Okay, all right. When I first saw Nincada, I was like hardened. This is what, that's what this thing's gonna do, and that's annoying because I only have physical attacks that can actually do shit to this thing. Unless, oh fuck, that did a lot. Oh no! Oh my god, and he's actually getting health back. Oh shit! Oh shit! This is awful. I'm gonna try to absorb it. That's not gonna do a damn thing, but it's worth a shot. Okay, it actually, okay, it definitely, definitely did a damn thing. I'm gonna go ahead and take that back. Scratch, yeah, just as long as you don't use your absorb or whatever, your leech life or whatever you used. It's all good. Alright, Ninkata. Why couldn't you just die? Why couldn't you just die? Leech life, fuck. He's gonna get his health back. But luckily, I believe this next absorb is still gonna kill it. Okay, yeah. One more absorb. And Ninkata has been defeated. Finally. Jesus. Alright. The root got a whole bunch of experience. That's what I'm talking about. Grew to level 12. We are getting close to evolving. Pinhead grew to level 8. Hell yeah. And Bugcatcher James was defeated. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put Trico in front just for now. Since I have the EXP share on, um, Pinhead will still be getting that solid experience. Found an Ether right here, restores the PP power points of your moves, that's cool. So thank you for that. Um, you can actually find, you can find Shroomish in this ground. Oh, what detail is this? I'm gonna fucking catch this thing. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I wasn't actually gonna catch it. Oh, what the hell is going on over here? Oh shit, this magma motherfucker's up to no good. This is the Pedalberg Recon team checking in. I'm afraid I have to be begin with an apology, Mr. Courtney. It's not good news. The mission is a no-go. A little something cropped up and got in the way. Roger that. Got it. Will do. I'll continue investigating that energy we detected. Oh shit. Detecting some energy, huh? That kid sure had some promise as a trainer, I'd say. You bet your ass I got some promise as a trainer. And alright guys, I'm going to end the episode here. We're going to explore the new area next episode. See you later.